What's up guys, this is Austin with Hot Rod Heaven. I'm here with Fred today and we're gonna talk to him a little bit about his car. So tell me Fred, what kind of car do we have here? This is a 62 Chevrolet Bel Air. For what kind of made you want to get this car here? When I was in high school I wanted one of those. Of course I couldn't afford it then. So when I finally could afford it I decided to buy one and, and completely redo it, completely rebuild it. Where did you find it and what kind of condition was it in? Found the car in Rhode Island. Okay. And it was uh, Pretty much rust free, had a little bit of rust on one rocker. Other than that, there was no rust on the car and that's what I was looking for, something yeah. good to start with. Of course. So then a buddy of mine started on it. We disassembled it completely, 100%, started and built awesome. it from the ground up. So okay. we did everything but the paint work on it. We didn't paint it. Okay. But all the other work on it, we did that's all awesome, of it. So. Man. What year did you get the car and how long has it been completed? Since, got the car, you got Thirteen years ago, okay. it's been done ten years. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. Talk about the motor that you have right. in here. This it's a 409, 409, 409 cubic inch, 409 horsepower. They made three versions: a 340 horse, 360, and then a 409. And they were different camshafts. And the 409 has two fours on it, where the others were single four barrel. Cool. So this one is the the dual. This is the dual. So this is right? this is the big one. This, this is the yeah, one. This is the bad boy in '62. Yes, yeah, sir. Which today a Honda will probably outrun it. You know, a stock <laughs> Honda. Yeah, man. This thing is really cool. I know this is a very popular motor in the time. I mean. Right. The Beach Boys even came out with a song, 409. That was actually telling me a story. My granddad was really obsessed with this motor. So to be able to see it in here in such a clean car, it's it's really a it's a sight to see. Is there anything that's done to this, or is it just completely stock it's here? It's completely stock. Okay, it's completely cool. Completely stock. You know, I mean, it's been balanced and everything, but it's it's basically just a stock motor. It's got the right camshaft, the right carburetors, distributor, everything on it. And, and this is the original motor for this car as well, correct? Right. That's awesome. And you were telling me a funny story back in the day when they would street race this, they would take off this. Took gear. the air cleaner off, left it at the house. You didn't even take it with you because that was extra weight in the car. Plus you didn't want to run it on the car. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. That's a really funny story. These cars, they ran about 12 flat in 1962. And that was considered fast back then. Yeah. It's got a Borg Warner four speed in it. And the 62s, that's all they came with. 63s, they put Muncie's in them from then okay. on. But 62 was the last of the Borg Warners. They also came in the Corvettes. All the GM cars had the Borg Warner four-speed with the big flywheel and 11-inch clutch on them because, okay. because of the cars being so heavy. So the Bel Air, the Biscayne, and the Impala, they're all kind of similar. Can you tell me like the little differences between those cars? The big difference in them is the roof line. This okay. car is called the bubble top. It's the top is shaped like a bubble. In 62, the only bubble top GM made was the Bel Air. In 61, all the way back, 58 to the end of bubble tops in 62. All the Impalas, they made bubble tops. In 62, they didn't. They made okay. Biscayne only. And then the, the Biscayne and the Bel Airs and all, all had different roof lines on them. The Impala was a different roof line than the Biscayne and also the Bel Air. The body itself, the front ends and all, were all exactly the same. They all interchanged. Really? It was just the roof lines on the car. Okay. Can you tell me about the wheels? I mean, these are stock wheels, correct? These are stock there? wheels. They are uh, seven inches wide, okay. steel wheels, and it came with the beanie hubcaps, which is what they call the beanie hubcaps on it. That's all original. This car looks like it came from the factory. If it yeah. rolled out of the factory, if you were down to the local dealer and bought it, this is what you got right here. That's awesome, man. What size are the tires that are on here? Those are, those are 15 inch. Okay. And that, that's exactly what came on the car. Okay. I haven't changed any of that stuff at all. Really cool. What about the suspension on the car? Suspension is all original, okay. dual exhaust. It's all the original exhaust on it. Okay. So, you know, I didn't want to make a hot rod out of it. I wanted to make it look just like when when you bought it new. Yes, it's, from the showroom yep, floor, basically. Exactly, yep. Okay. The interior is just basically stock. That's the way it came from GM right there. The same material, same everything on it. I love the, the sparkle looks really, really cool. I love the red steering wheel. It really pops out. These cars came with a tack on them from the factory. There's holes drilled in the side of the steering column and the tack bolted right there from the factory. The other cars, you know, were aftermarket and you, you put a clamp around it to put it on. But it's got a sending unit mounted under the hood that was all from the factory. That's awesome. Good this order is really way. cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the cameras in and, and take it for a drive. Okay. <laughs> all right. like one of the 
the cars that you really wanted when you grew up. Exactly. And now, now you have it. It so was the one I wanted. You know, yeah. that's, that's why I built it. Everybody yeah. said, why'd you do that? Well, I just always wanted one, so. Yeah, that's really cool, man. I love hearing stories like that. See, in 1961, they built 200 409 Chevys, 61. Okay. 200 is all they built of them. And I, a buddy of mine, had one of those 200 cars. I used to ride with him all the time. Really? And I'm thinking, man, there'll never be anything faster than this. This is, a, this is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Little did you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's no, there's no side mirrors on this thing. Uh -uh. Oh, wow. That was an extra. You'd pay extra if you wanted to have side mirrors on it. Wow, that's crazy. On both sides, there's no side mirrors. And you could order one or two. You could get them on one door, both doors, or no wow. doors. That's so funny. See, like... this, this thing is a radio delete. Okay. Heater delete. Has no heater, no radio. And that was for, so that's the racing, right? Exactly. Make okay. them lighter. Keep the weight yeah. down on them. Okay. Yeah. Here, do you want to? Okay. Okay. Spun the tires a little bit. Let's go. That was awesome. It's hard to get in second gear. The synchros are worn on second gear. Yeah. It's hard to get in second gear at higher RPM. Yeah, this thing scoots though. So, I mean, for a heavy car now, yeah. I mean, it's, you know. Yeah, man, this is a sweet car, man. I love, I really do love all the red because it just blends in so well with the yeah. hood. It's so yeah. seamless. I love that. That steering wheel is pretty sweet too, man. I love that. Yeah, that's the 62 is the only wheel they made like that. Yeah, it's well, a pretty big wheel see, too. You see, this thing doesn't have power steering on it. So, so yeah, you have to have a big wheel to steer one of these cars. Yeah. Now, if it's power steering, you can put a lot smaller wheel on it and do it. Uh -huh. But this thing's hard to steer even with this big wheel on it when you're going real slow and turning. Oh yeah, I believe it. Yeah, it's crazy how people just don't uh, they take advantage now of their cars Wait, power steering you know, so easy. You, they don't even think about it, you know. <laughs> somebody, the younger generation, especially somebody your age, uh -huh. you know, they wouldn't know about these things of yeah. non-power steering and oh, yeah. uh, radio and heater delete and stuff like that. Yeah, I could imagine. It's like a freaking arm workout trying to back in the day. It, it is. Yep. It really like, is. Like, hey, did you hit the gym? Be like, no, but I did drive my car for a little <laughs> yeah, bit. That really was did. enough for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that does it for this video, guys. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this with more hot rods, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you next time.